Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to utilize the ClickFunnels 2.0 embed feature. If you have any type of video that's on YouTube, it's going to be a very easy process to edit to your landing page. In this one, I just have a blank page where I'm going to start from scratch and just put a video in here and then talk about some of the details that you can use with it. If you'd like to follow along or you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will leave a link in the description. And if you click that, you can get a free 14 day trial. Let's begin. So business as usual, you know, you can use a blank template, you can use a new template. I'm just going to go with wide here. I'm going to go with one column. And something to keep in mind is that from what I've seen, the, the bigger the columns you make, the wider the video is going to be. So I like trying to keep them a little bit thinner or not as wide, I guess is the appropriate phrase. Let's go with video here. And notice it's going to be very big. So what I want to do is just kind of show you what I was talking about. So instead of this section, uh, we can do a medium and we can do one column and now we can do our video much better. Okay, so that's going to be our video. And all we need to do is just paste in the specific video URL. It says that it accepts YouTube, Vimeo, Voomly, Wistia, HTML5, and custom embed. All I did was copy the YouTube video I'm already going to, you know, had in mind. Let's paste it in there. And just like that, you can see it's a video that I had of me. Uh, video controls, you can customer can pause, play, fast forward, and rewind the video. Uh, I personally like that. I think it's annoying sometimes. Unless you're doing a video sales letter where you don't want someone to pause it, you want it to keep going through. Pretty much any other time, I like having the controls, obviously. Uh, autoplay is going to be off uh, off to you, up to you. Uh, autoplay is good. Like I said, same thing with VSLs. Just depends on where traffic is coming from as well. Like if you're doing any type of ads, uh, lazy loading is if you want that, depending on, it's kind of like with images where if they scroll down, it'll start loading. This is good if it's going to be later down on your sales letter or sales page. Block pause, it says desktop only. Yes, we'll set autoplay on desktop. Uh, branding only works with block pause. No uh, optional width. So that's another way of being able to change that around. So Let's do like, it's probably going to be very, uh, let's see. I probably have to test it just to show, but let's see, save. And preview. And there you go. That's going to be the, uh, you don't, you'll have to mess around with that, but if you wanted to change it around that way, I'm just going to save it. So it goes back to normal. I like this specific size of where it is now. Perfect. Okay. And you can also see like the player labels and stuff where you can play it and hit pause and uh, everything else with that. Uh, padding is how up or down you want it to be. You know, there's nothing else going on there. Uh, we do have the background sections. So if you want to add anything to that, let's see what we have with uh, style. Not a whole lot going on. Okay. Kind of expected. Uh, we don't really need much with the background, especially because, you know, we've got everything there. Border. That can be helpful. I like borders. Let's see, style one, two, and three. Can obviously make it a little bit darker. You can add a shadow with it if you want. I mean, these are just going to be cosmetic things that aren't as big of a deal. And of course, corners as well, if you want to round them or flatten them and, and so on and so forth. A few extra things, but all the other stuff is going to be the, uh, the biggest. Animations are cool. I talked about those on a different one. Uh, we can obviously preview these. So... And if you want to make them a little bit slower, for example, uh, duration, something like that, play direction, normal, ease. And there's plenty of those that you can, you know, choose from. But all in all, I think that answers your question or shows you how to do the uh, video embed. Very easy to do. Let's scroll back to the row or just click on it right here. And it's going to be this is the main section right there. That's how you can actually embed from any of those URLs that it has right there. Also, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually host your own videos. So if you don't want to put it on YouTube or any of those um, sections that they have underneath the video URL. I'll show you how to do that in my next video. Anyway, I hope that helps you out when it comes to video embeds where you can put them on your landing pages. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, feel free to check out the link in the description as well that gets you a free 14-day trial for ClickFunnels 2.0. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.